What about fast fourth or fifth generation jets? Aren't they going to need those too? Uh, you know, we're continuing to have those conversations, um, both internally as we look at uh, longer term air defense, but also uh, with Ukraine. There are some countries in Europe that are interested in providing those. And as the president has said, that's the, the choice that they will make. But again, this is an evolving uh, picture as we see what Ukraine needs. So let's turn to, to some diplomatic issues, uh, starting with Secretary Blinken's meeting with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi in Munich uh, last week. Uh, it's been uh, reported by diplomatic contacts uh, and in the newspapers that Secretary Blinken warned uh, the Chinese Foreign Minister against China supplying weapons to Russia, something that China has not done so far. And it's also been noted that there are intelligence reports that are received by the United States, by the by Britain, that China is contemplating precisely that, sending sending weapons. Give us a sense of, of, of your concerns, the Secretary Blinken's, about what the Chinese might do. What what might they send? And did they did they seem to get the message from him, from his counterparts in the Quad, who also met with him in, in Munich? So David, this has been a long conversation uh, with the Chinese, including uh, between President Biden and President Xi Jinping before the war started, uh, again last year in Bali in November, um, and then again between Secretary Blinken and Wang Yi. The, the Chinese have claimed publicly, they've claimed globally that they are neutral in this conflict, that they are prepared to be peacemakers. Um, but that would be belied by any uh, strong support that they would give to, to Putin. Um, we know that the Russians have consistently been asking uh, the Chinese for weapons. We also know uh, that some uh, Chinese companies, uh, whether the government is witting or not, have been sneaking up to the edge and trying to provide uh, some support. For example, the United States uh, sanctioned about three weeks ago a company called Spacity, which was providing uh, geolocation um, uh, support to the Wagner Group in, in Bakhmut. Um, so there was another renewed warning that uh, we will see this if you make a turn to providing a serious military support, whatever it is. Um, and that will be a violation of sanctions, and it'll also be, uh, it'll, it'll give the lie to Chinese assertions of neutrality in this, in this war. So that conversation was a tough one in Munich, um, and I think it'll continue.